So I wanted to give you, I, I'm, I finished school, I only have one class on Thursdays, and after that I was supposed to, I'm picking up a friend who's coming in from her studio, she's a makeup artist, and she also owns an online makeup store with such cool products. Anyways, I've ordered a, a 10 eyeshadow palette, now I'm sure I'm going to show you, it's the same eyeshadow palette that I was showing you that men uh, that the men couldn't tell the difference between the two eyeshadow palettes so it's one of those and I really wanted to give you a tour of what it looks like inside but unfortunately I can't really park there's no parking here so I'm kind of standing on the side waiting for for her to roll down but I really wanted to show you the studio it's really cool she works with a technique called airbrush and he, and Israel it's not a very common technique yeah um yet and it's not a personal use at all they are the official um importers, I guess you would say, uh, that bring uh, temp to here. Now, I, because I, she's my friend, I know about all the little updates and stuff like that, and one of the things that I'm really itching for is when they start selling the personal kit, because the airbrush is just phenomenal. I think that if you plug into my other channel, maybe I'll put a link here, I'm warning you in advance, it's Hebrew, but there's not very much talking. You could see the airbrush technique. Uh, that she did because I did the airbrush. She did my makeup for my brother's wedding and his uh, Hina. Um, Hina is a celebration that you do uh, a, a, but a week, between a week to a month before the wedding itself. It comes from um, Eastern influences, so you would see it from people who come from like Morocco and stuff like that. It is common among Arabs. Uh, it's common about, uh, it's very common among, among uh, Eastern Jews, some Moroccan Jews, and the, uh, Yemenite Jews, and I know the Indians also celebrate Hina, so anyways, I'm babbling, but I'm really excited, I want to show you the palette, and I'm frustrated because I really want to show you the studio, so that's it. On the positive note, I got approved for, I got my, what's it called, index? No, not the index, you know, in the beginning of the book when you contents oh okay so the list of contents I guess and we've I've been approved my seminar topics have been approved and I could start actually writing it which is kind of funny because it's really early on so um, it's quarter to four and if I'm lucky I'll be able to reach home in a decent hour because I really wanted to do a outfit of the day for my blog um, it's getting dark so early it's unbelievable day, it's almost ridiculous um, post for my blog with the so, outfit that I'm wearing yeah. today but because I came home, I came home at 4 o'clock, 4.15 in the afternoon, and it was pitch dark. I mean, add to that, to the fact that um, it was like, oh, it was gloomy and dark because it supposedly rained. It like drizzled a little bit, but that was it. Um, so it was completely dark and completely lost. So I'm just going to do this on my video and I'm going to do this on my vlog. And that's a cool way to do an outfit of the day without, you know, could do them in my vlog, so that's cool. So, yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Let's see if I can get a pan shot. There we go. Looks very, you know. So, on top I have in peplum shirt, black, H&M. I got this skirt from ASOS. And actually, I've had this for a while, and I only now decided to wear it. It's really nice and comfy. I really like it. My shoes are from a local chain store called Wow. I have these in many very different colors because the heel isn't very high. And have this in royal blue, an orange, a turquoise green, the pink ones, a nice beige one, and a black one. You can tell how much I like these. I don't have any makeup on. Ha! Ah! And on my chin, on my chin, on my, uh, uh, I have this necklace from Top 10, which I really like. I guess it's a little bit of accent. And my nails are from Jade. I can't remember the color. Maybe I'll put it in. Anyways, that's it. Um, that's my outfit of the day. It's very simple. I'm now going to take off my clothes and go take a shower and get into my comfy home clothes, actually. And that's it. Boogie out, get dum dum dum. Can you see that? Do you know what that is? I finally got them a nice, closed kitty litter box. Isn't that wonderful? All nice and closed. It even has a little flap door. Boogie has figured it out immediately. And how to get in, do his business, and get out. He also figured out that he could 
flop these out and they're little pieces and he's been doing that this like the sixth time in the past three hours he's done that I have no idea what to do about it but it's starting to get on my nerve because here I am and I got this closed thing it's supposed to keep most of the kitty litter inside the kitty litter box and then you have boogie removing more than just kitty litter See, outside okay, the box I'm just sitting and watching Not some kitty. boogie YouTube kitty. as you can see I've I'm getting ready. It's wintry today. It rained. It poured last night. It actually had like real rain and not just drizzle. Poor Boogie had a really difficult time because it was his first ever like real rain. Uh, I'm going to try to play a little bit with lighting today because I, I really, really have to film at least two English videos and one in Hebrew. On the positive note, I... Um, okay, you should know this that uh, uh, when it comes to... I, I don't know what it's called in English when you give stuff to be reviewed and, and stuff like that from companies. Anyways, I um, know that these have been sold in Europe for a while and this is by Bourgeois and I actually sent a, uh, a message to Bourgeois in Israel and I asked them if they're going to be marketing these soon and, and, and it's really funny because I've been watching these for a while. I just happened to send this message and when they replied they said they're just starting to market this in Israel so yay! Anyway, so I, I um, addressed them and they sent me one lipstick to be reviewed so far and it's the 24th. No, this is the Bourgeois Shine Edition and they're really pretty. I've seen like six of these. Um, I, if I can go and check them out in the grocery, in the, uh, drugstore, I will swatch them on my hands <laughs> to the best of my abilities. And, um, it just sucks because I was hoping I would get at least two, but this is really pretty. It smells very different and the lip, the, the color, I've already kind of, you know, played around with it. Um, but I really like this, and I'm probably going to be likely buy all of these. I think I'm in love. Um, it's wintry, and since I've been kind of refusing to acknowledge it's going to be winter, I haven't pulled down any wintry clothes. Uh, my boots are, like, up above a closet in my in the guest room, so they're accessible, so that's not such a big deal. And I got two new pairs of boots. Yay! Uh, but it seems that... I don't really have too many clothes when it comes to like graying around, so I'm probably gonna have to like spend my Saturday digging down some winter clothes. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in a very early fashion, and I'm actually gonna, like gonna put up some summer clothes, so I have room to put my winter clothes. And I'm also gonna dig down all my accessories. Maybe I should do like a a video on my favorite winter stuff that I already have, not that I'm buying. And I've also bought a new trench coat from I never had a trench coat, and it's like a classic. And I've always perceived it as being a classic, so getting one is like ah. And I got they had a beige one and they had a um, camel colored one. So I got the camel color one, not the beige one, because I think it's going to do better for my tones. It's a little bit warmer. And I also had a black one and a navy. Now, I have kitty cats, you know. Hey, Muffin, Muffin, Muffin. Hi, little girl. She's so shy. Um, so the black one is definitely going to show up hairs. There's a trick for you if you have cats or pets in general. You should always think about these things. Because uh, with other clothes I don't really mind and like I sit everywhere and I don't make a big fuss about it. And when it comes to coats it's a little bit different. A because you can't really clean them and B because cats seem to be attracted to sitting on them. And I'm not really good about putting it away immediately. So. There you have it. Um, the other good news is I have guppies. I have guppy babies. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see my dirty little fish tank. In this little fishy tanks, I'm going to try to focus. In these two little fishy tanks, I had a fishy mama in here, and then I had a fishy mama in here. And then yesterday, I just happened to look, and I saw that there were all these guppies swimming around. You see how small they are? That's a full-size guppy, and that's the babies. See how they're moving around? Now, when guppy, gu ba when guppy babies first are first born, they're, like, completely see-through, so they, like, can hide better. And as they get older, they get darker. Now, they are also, you can tell how old they are, how they swim. Mine are, like, slightly swimming. When they're really small, they kind of go, spot, stop. And they, like, have, like, these little sprints, so they're not detectable by older fish. 
but I have them in a different fish tank so they're all protected and I'm hoping this one will give birth soon. Now I did the mistake last time when I had fishy babies. I had like 13 or 17 or something like that and I added them to my big fish tank a little bit too early and they got eaten. So and that was like three months old or something like that. So this time I'm just going to wait patiently until they're like five or six months old and that's it. And now I'm going to force myself to go get dressed and we're just going to have a little close up on my muffin who's not, I'm not sure what she is this morning. Oh, and I just have one more thing to show you. I told you I would show you this about palette. So here it is. It's by Missy. Isn't this pretty? Okay. And now I'm going to try to open it up with one hand. And oh, I did it. And isn't that just gorgeous? So that's the plastic protector, and that's why it's shiny on top. So it's this interesting combination of like this is an this is a white. Well, I think it's considered matte. And then you have this pearlescent one that I really like. I was hoping it could function as a highlighter. Um, and then I think this one is also going to be a good blending. Oh, no, it's a good crease one for a very daily look. And I'm just going to do the pink one to end it up. Isn't this nice? It's like a really good neutral palette, but just right for me. And the palette, I'm just cleaning off my swatches. Uh, the palette is like so nice and sleek. And I really like this. And I'm really happy. So that's it. I'm just going to stop rambling. Bye-bye. I'm vlogging. I'm just warning you. So you don't say anything stupid. My mom's complaining. She's like, fetch her. <laughs> that's a joke because she never fetches. We're going grocery shopping. She, I'm being dragged grocery shopping and refrigerator shopping. But I'm going to go look at lipsticks. That's a positive point of view. Would you stop talking like that? You look like you're pregnant. I do not. I don't get pregnant. That's why it looks freaky. We are done looking at refrigerators. Well, actually, we're going to look at refrigerators here. So we're going to look at more refrigerators in the grocery store. And mom keeps saying we should go to the market. And that's shook. Market. It's not the, it's not the market. Oh, yeah. No, 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 then you make a, No, you, you broke it, then you have to get it. I didn't it. break it. Yes, you did, I saw you. You have to get the band if you broke it. And you just well, have to just have a... Ema. Be nice. So we're grocery shopping and looking at more refrigerators, and the drugstore did not have the lipsticks yet. So that's a bummer, because I really want to swatch all the colors. Don't be violent with me. Throwing grocery bags at me. You want to get a coconut? Doesn't it seem like it's a small coconut? Yes. Why do they have these two little... It looks like... Those are the eyes. Oh! They're actually called the eyes? Yes. Because it looks like a mouse. Look! Ugh, it looks like a mouse. <laughs> it does. Those are called eyes. I'm pretty sure. Is that how it's hooked up to the tree or something? Ooh, I want pecans. I'm gonna go get some pecans. So I'm cleaning up my I makeup ate of the pecans, week, as you can see. I just had to show you how ridiculous this is. So I have my the palette that I just show have shown. So I've got this out here. And I've got the Vice 2. And I've got depotted eyeshadows and blushes. I still have to figure out how to store this. And I've got my brush kit, but I have here's some brushes, here's brushes, and here's some more brushes. And I've got this e.l.f. duo brush, and there's another blush, and there's three foundations. <laughs> and there's four mascaras, and there, there's another blush, and this is ridiculous. I have to start well, putting away stuff look properly so, when I'm the done. The eyeshadow looks really this clean. And somehow the color always seems like it's down to here, but it's not. I mean, when you look sideways and in the mirror. Anyways, I've had a really productive YouTube day because I have filmed and edited, and my video, my Friday video, actually went a up on time. It went up at 8 o'clock. It is so cold these today. It's unbelievable. It's like finally winter. 
um, it's Friday night already, so it's like 10.30 and I'm walking in the dark, yay! And my parents went away for a weekend, again, yay! When my parents go on a weekend and vacation, that means I also kind of get a, like a mini vacation, because I stay home and I'm home alone, and you know, when you're 28 years old, you really should be living out on your own. Ah, oh, money, 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 money. Um, but I'm really pleased. I got a really good YouTube day done. And I have a new kind of setup. Ooh, I should show you probably. Wait. Walking down the dark hallway. Walking down the dark hallway. So, I'm just going to kind of flip. There's my camera. And there's my new kind of setup. And you'll see it in my new videos, I'm, I'm sure. And I'm really pleased. And, yeah. And you'll be able to tell which videos were done before which ones because this will be in the ones that were filmed today and on. But I think that I'm still probably going to have to film like in my old setup, so we'll see how I'll do it. And what I'm really excited is, is I'm probably going to be able to do like, um, uh, the problem with outfits of the day and lookbooks right now is that I can't film because it's wet and it's dark. Like, I get home at 4 o'clock and it's dark outside, so I can't take photos and I can't take video or anything. So it looks like I'll be able to do that in, in this room, so we'll see. Because the rest of my house does not have a clean background. Um, my parents are bookworms, so any, any free possible wall has a bookcase. <laughs> so we don't have free... Uh, spacing and stuff like that so that's why I've been having difficulties with that and I have the yard but again it's what dark doesn't really work so and as you can tell I'm kind of energetic and I did I filmed this tutorial I don't know maybe look at see that I see the kind of um the color the the color on top it's kind of green it's a it's a golden green I really like that and I did a and I did my second pet tag with muffin yay you know what the best part about being home alone sleeping in the couch yeah so I'm happy happy Saturday putting my defenses yeah. up. I don't know why. You know how some days you wake up and you're just so energetic? So that's this kind of a day. I was going to film three more videos today um, and shoot some clothes. Uh, the close-ups I'm going to do in any case. That doesn't actually require for me to get dressed and stuff like that. Now, my new setup means that I can film at night. So I'm not so hyper about doing it just a second. Um... But I know that if I don't do it today, I won't do it for at least another four days. So I'd rather do it today. But I'm so energetic. And the thing is, is I kind of want to go up. I'm wearing, maybe I should show you my outfit later on. It's a total laid back kind of look. And I'm kind of dancing and, and bouncing around the house. And that's why I'm slightly out of breath because I just slightly danced in the kitchen. Ah, my umbrella fell on the floor. Look at my umbrella, isn't it pretty? It's all the colors of the rainbow. That's a big umbrella. I hate small umbrellas. And for years I didn't even have an umbrella because in Israel rain doesn't just rain, it rains and wins. <laughs> so your umbrellas always flip inside out. Um, so, but I do have a big umbrella these days. I think it's the kind of day that I, I, I maybe I should just show you what I look like when I first woke up. You know how sometimes you wake up and you're smiling but your hair looks absolutely horrific as an indicator of my hair was completely brushed out and everything when I went to sleep but when I woke up it was all over the place and was really full volume because I slept really well that's the indicator usually um, what did I want to say I think when you have fibromyalgia a lot of people and this is not a this isn't a blame thing, but I think it does happen. When you have fibromyalgia, a lot of times you forget the good days. And you do have good days. And when I mean a good day, I mean that it's not like I'm not hurting a little bit. I'm hurting in my in my carpal tunnel area right now. And only on one side, which is weird, because usually my pains are like on both sides. So, you know. But this kind of a situation, fibromyalgia doesn't make sense to begin with. So, who knows. And, um... Uh, and my fatigue isn't bad today. And that means this is a good freaking day! And, and, that's, and that's all I have to say. And if I could prop my camera, I would, but 
I hope not, but I'm dancing around the house. I'm all alone. I'm going to go. What am I going to eat? Ooh, I feel like having a cheese sandwich. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. I'm all sweaty. I got down all my winter clothes. Um, see, the, there's four box stacked, and those have my sweaters. I also put up in the attic a clothes rack that I don't have room for downstairs, so I put it up in the attic. And in the process of doing all this stuff, I stepped wrong and I slid down the stairs of the attic. When I say stairs, I mean it's like a step la like a big step ladder out of metal that, that you know kind of folds back into the attic when you're done. And I'm okay. I was mainly shocked just sitting on the floor. And then I, 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 I just I just thought for a minute if anything feels out of the ordinary before you put pressure on it. Everything was okay. I'm just incredibly chafed in my hand and they're very, very dry and I'm feeling very lucky, very grateful. I couldn't believe it. I guess my shoes were a little bit wet in the bottom and I just stepped on the first step and I went all the way down. I mean, a, a, a story worth of, of stairs, basically. So... That was scary. Um, so, and, and going up in the attic and doing all this movement really gets you sweaty because there's no air circulation in our, in our, in our attic. is just for storage. It's not actually a living space or something like that. And I also broke my fingernail in the process. So I guess I, I'm going to be all black and blue tomorrow. I'm pretty sure of it. But I guess if all I broke was my fingernail, I should be pretty grateful. And I'm just going to, I'm going to do something like I'm going to really uh, reorganize my closet and put some things up, like my shorts. I'm not going to use my shorts during the winter. It's just not going to happen. As many shorts as I possibly have. And I'm just going to reorganize. And I'm also going to put some sandals up so I can use that space for, putting, for laying out my gloves and my hair. My hair. Like, I have a hair warmer thing. I have, like, two, two of those. And my scarves. Yeah, so it's, it can be pretty accessible, and maybe also my, uh, like, pattern uh, stockings. Stockings or tights, depending on who you are, if you're English or, or American. So, yeah. So that happened, but I'm okay. <laughs> Look, you can see my dimple these days. <laughs>